Welcome to the toughest ever Mr. World Extreme Challenge. Okay, gents, look at me. Pick up your kit. Today, these candidates will be put through a series of physical and mental tests designed to push them to their limits. I can already tell now that it's going to be hard. I've been training hard for this part. I'm really, really excited. I can feel the heart start yeah, pumping now. We are going to go for it, but they, they are going to be wanting to They're going to test us. Yeah. yeah, they are going to test us. This is my chance to just experience what it is being in the military. First up, a fitness test. This pits the contestants against the clock in four events. Running, push-ups, sit-ups and pull-ups. Not always physical. Mentally, you'll always stop before your body stops. The run sets all 45 contestants off together, with runners being disqualified for not touching the line on cue. Run 15, first I made an error. I let my focus get away from me. As they're whittled down, stamina prevails, leaving just Netherlands and Denmark to battle it out for first place. Tired. <laughs> Victorious. This is harder than I thought, let's be honest here. With no time to rest, it's straight into push-ups against the clock. Oh my God. So your chest hits his hand. Ghana did 95 press-ups. Next, it's the same format for sit-ups. Strong. Hands on the temple. No more noise. No elbows on the mat. Oh. And to end, the circuit pull-ups. You know, it's a lot harder than it looks. I mean, you see these guys and they're like, oh, they're not moving that fast or they're not doing that many. And then, you know, by the time you've done one or two drills and you go to the third one, you're just you're toast, right? It was very tiring. It's like they're back to back. And I think I did well. I did really well. So I'm going to do the 800 meters run around the camp circuit. You're going to be doing it twice. With just enough time to catch their breath, they're off on a 1.6 kilometer sprint around the barracks. Following Corporal Bridget, he's showing the laps and you know the route. every single time. Next, it's into the pool, where the swimmers are timed over Olympic sprints. With some exceptional times turned in by Colombia, Denmark, Guadeloupe, Mexico, Moldova and Puerto Rico, with just six swimmers left, it looks as if Poland will clinch the swimming title with his sprint time of 41 seconds. But Mr. Venezuela, a competitor in the 2012 London Olympics, is still to swim. Okay, the last time, uh, the fastest was 41 seconds. Is that what he has to be? Mr. Venezuela comes home in a record time of 36 seconds. My swimming is my life. I love swimming. The combined scores from the circuit and swim place Austria third, Puerto Rico second, and leading at this stage, Poland. But it's still early in the competition, so anything can happen. The first event eliminates all but the very best 24 candidates, who now move on to the assault course. Limpson's really famous in England, yeah. so the, the chance to actually come behind the walls and see what it's like from an inside point of view is breathtaking, so we, we're really honoured to be here. In preparation for the assault course, the candidates are put through a set of drills designed to take them to their physical limits. That warm up, bit of a shock for them because obviously they're wearing a kit, they're not used to it, some of them don't even understand what, what they're doing. A lot of respect to all the Marines that do this every day. The initial stage warm up really puts the contestants through their paces. We're all looking at other qualities, okay? So stand up, a bit of pride, straight face on, you can help your mates, and let's not make a big circus out of it. The instructors are looking for endurance and teamwork, as well as agility, speed, strength, and tactical thinking. As the teams attempt to cross the bars, Venezuela loses his footing and goes down hard. For the main event, the contestants must run the Royal Marine Commando obstacle course, set against the clock. I'm ready. This time, the instructors will judge them purely on speed, and only the top ten will move on to the final stage. Keep it going. Oh, 
Soft-course eliminations are underway and the standard is very high. As the final results are tallied up, it's Ukraine who finishes fourth, with Argentina third, Moldova second and it's England in first place. The remaining six countries to qualify for the final stage are Austria, Denmark, Philippines, Puerto Rico, Romania and Venezuela. You won't be clapping soon. Uh, See that? Uh, yeah. That's where we're going. Yeah, bring it on, Woo! bring it on. Concentrate on what we're about to do, OK? The Mudflats Challenge is a set of sprints between two points. It's designed to test stamina and endurance. The last man standing is the winner. One by one, the sprinters, exhausted and fatigued, fall by the wayside until the race comes down to just two men. It's an all-out sprint to the finish line with Moldova edging ahead before the halfway mark. Denmark catches him on the turn. Denmark seems to stumble. Moldova loses his footing on the home straight but just manages to catch himself to dive over the finish line and finish in first place. The Marines are they're the elite of our country, they're the best they get. And these guys can do that on a day-to-day -day basis and it makes you feel less of a man. Work hard, play hard. <laughs> I spewed after the run and I thought I was out. I spewed my guts out and I couldn't do any more, but I, I got some more and I pulled myself together and then I'm really happy that I can finish second in a race like this. It's too difficult, but thank you guys that support me. Yeah. The green head off to the, uh, the people that do the, every single leg, because this is, this is not for boys, this is for men. <laughs> We looked at courage, determination, and selfishness. And I must say, guys, you've shown that in space today, and congratulations to you all. For all that hard work, we're gonna narrow it down to just three, and eventually, just one person. Okay, so in third place, green three. Okay, in second place, red five. Well done. Well done. And finally, the winner, green one, Moldova. Yeah.